Hi everybody, Ben here from Artless Ordinary. So, tonight, whoops, knocked some paint on the floor. Tonight I'm going to do an infinity pour. So I have decided to pick out metallic colours um, with a little bit of black just to add some contrast. So I am using Montmartre Silver, Montmartre Gold, and I'm using Deco Art Dazzling Metallics in Purple Pearl and in Berry. So the reason I'm using these ones is so far these Dazzling Metallics have never given me pearls, which I don't want this time. I just want a metallic pour, not a pearl pour. So if you are wanting to use metallics in a pour but you don't want the pearls, um, so far, I've never had them in these Dazzling Metallics. So that's kind of, um, it's good to know because if I wanted pearls, then I would use an Extreme Sheen, but I don't want the pearls, so I'm using Dazzling Metallics. So that is the plan. So I'm going to put these bottles out of my way. Otherwise, I get messed up. So these are beautiful. You can chip pick whatever colours you want. I brought these two colours. Um, I've done this pour before on a really small canvas. But this time I've done it a little bit different. I'm using my normal 12 by 16 inch canvas. And I'm hoping to get... It was harder to do an infinity pour on such a small canvas. So this larger one's a lot easier to do. So I'm going to put these paints out of my way as well. Where's a good spot? There we go. Okay, so my measurements are, sorry, the paint measurements are, the gold and the silver are 44 grams paint, 76 grams Floetrol, Australian Floetrol, and 30 grams um, water. So it's giving me a thinner mixture, but it's not super, super thin. It still drizzles off the stick and leaves a little bit of a pattern, but... um. Infinity pores need to be a little bit thin. So always give them a good stir before you use metallics. So that's that one. And the gold. Okay. So that's them. I'm going to get these sticks out of here now. Because I'm going to use this cup to do my pour. Making a mess. Alrighty. That's that. Uh, paper towel. Wipe my hands. So, now the purple, the berry, and the black, I have done 11 grams paint, 19 grams Australian Floetrol, and 8 grams water. So there's virtually four times as much of the gold and silver as there is these colours. But that was my plan. Um, I mostly want it to be gold and silver, but the black will give it... Um, the black causes some reactions within the metallics. And I want a bit of purple and berry just to add something a little bit different. The only thing is, the berry feels heavier than the purple, even though there should be the same amount in them. Don't know why. Now, I'm just going to use these cups. I'm not going to bother pouring them into different cups and different amounts. I am just going to hold this up high and hopefully pour about half of it into each. Whoops, that was a bit naughty. Completely missed that. So it's normally pretty good with my angles, but that time I missed. So I hope I've got that paint to go deep enough down into the gold and silver. Only hoping because I just didn't want to mess up more cups again by pouring it from 
different amounts. So now for the berry, I'm going to put half the berry in each cup. Well, it was about half, maybe a little bit more went into the gold. Just scraping it and pour it again from a height. And then I'll come down closer. So you will always get some settle on top, but you kind of want, it, want most of it to sink in. So I'm going to go into the silver first, because I think I end up pouring more the first time I pour. Up high again. There. So you could use more berry um, and purple if you wanted to. I didn't want it to be dominating. I just wanted it to be something that kind of settles through and has a bit of colour in it. It is sinking a little bit. So I wonder if the, um, whatever you call it, the consistencies were slightly out. It's kind of, uh, when you use different brands of paint, it doesn't always have the exact same effects as if you'd use the same brands. So, and I want to thank everybody. I have 502 subscribers. I'm past 500, I'm so happy. So that's absolutely brilliant. Thank you everyone who has subscribed and even the people who just watch my videos. Um, I really enjoy it. It's great to come home and see there's new people that have watched it. Some videos are uh, good, some aren't, aren't as great as I would love them to be, but um, I put up most of my videos, there's only a couple I haven't put up, um, and that's just because they were so horrible it wasn't worth it, but nearly every video I put up, some are great, some are so-so, but that's the fun of this, I do it for fun, not for other reasons, so I just put them up, and if you like them, you tell me, if you don't, hopefully you <laughs> Usually I can tell when people don't like my videos because I don't get a lot of views. So there's my cups. They're looking quite cool. And there's a light better if you can see them. Okay, now, infinity pour. You've got to spin your hands. So if you... Um, it's good to just do it like this without any cups in your hand to kind of get the momentum going in your brain. So your brain's working out how to do the circles. And then you can pick your cups up and do it again. Okay, a lot of that colour didn't sink. I've got a little bit left in the cups. I may just do a couple more little rings. That's good enough. Alrighty. Now we just want to tilt the canvas a bit, try and cover some of the surface. Can you see how it's a little bit runny because um, you've got the water in there? So let's just go over some of these edges. Whoa! Let's go to this corner now. Over and back. Over and back. over and back. You probably could use a corner catcher if you wanted to. Um, so far I haven't with an infinity pour I don't think. Um, I'm just dabbing a little bit of paint on the edge where it went over. Oh this one didn't get blew up. So it's better if you dab it straight away because then it will also help the paint, paint flow over those edges. Try and use a finger that has the same type of colouring as that corner. Okay, now. 
I may chip a little bit of this silver off the bottom. Not too much, just a little bit. There, because it was a little bit silvery down there. Cool, so can you see how the black is causes reactions? It kind of makes pearls without actually making pearls. It's just a, a paint reaction, not actually... Well, I suppose pearls are really a paint reaction, as, as they say. Um, I can see berry. There's some purple. The purple didn't make as much of a reaction the first time I did it either, when the berry did... Um, so maybe, like, but I can see purple in the silver, and there's purple down through here. So, I'm not going to fuss with this too much more. Um, I don't want to lose too much of any corner or anything, so I'm just going to get my gloves off. Now, Remember that this paint is a little bit more fluid because it's got water in it, not just Floetrol and paint. So you do have to watch that your canvas is flat. So now we will get the blowtorch out. And we're just gonna pop some bubbles. Because an infinity pour is a bit of a dirty pour, when you're pouring the paint in, you do have to get rid of the bubbles. Well, okay, you don't have to, but I prefer to, otherwise there will be bubbles in my artwork. So I'm just going over it quickly. I'm not keeping the torch in any spot for very long, because you don't want to burn anything. Now. Get your paint scraper and scrape the edges or the, the bottom, you know. If you've done acrylic pouring before, you should know, understand what I mean when I say scrape the edges. It's just underneath the lip where the paint is dripping off because you don't want it to continue to drip off because it will change your painting. So now that you've done it once, you will have to do it again, but just monitor which edge it's dripping off of, because that way there, the painting will pull the whole, it will pull the whole painting towards that direction. So if it's dripping off this edge here, it will pull all that black down further and probably elongate it. So this part might stay, but this end here will keep coming down and will elongate this area. So you just want to make sure, and if it is doing that, just get a pop stick. And because I do mine on these trays, I just put a pop stick under the edge of the tray and it keeps that whole edge just up a couple of mils, one to two millimeters, and just levels it out a little bit. If you need to do two edges, do two edges. Now, infinity pores change with time, kind of like a pearl pore and a cloud pore. So see how I'm getting more reactions with the black kind of popping up through, even up here, they, they kind of is pearls. Um, so now what we do is we pause the camera and we leave this to settle in, find its groove, which is what the paint will do. It will find its own little groovy happiness and create um, more unique effects. So, so far it's looking quite good. Kind of got this ominous cloud, but in the cloud we've got berry and gold, um, and up through here where we've got gold, we've got little pearls all showing up. Some purple, some pink, some silver, some black. And these black little bubbles are coming up. This is awesome. So, this is the fun part. Waiting to see what the paint wants to do with itself. And sometimes you go, oh, that's even better. And sometimes you go, no, why did it do that? So, just have fun. But let's pause it and see what happens in 10 minutes. All right, we're back. So, it's been seven minutes roughly, and I have got more reactions. There's more, they kind of are creating pearls. So all across through here, in the, the it's the black that seems to do it with the metallic. But even the um, berry has kind of done it a bit as well. Not so much the lavender. The lavender's there, but it's kind of buried itself a little bit in certain areas. 
Um, and my canvas was dripping this way. So the whole thing was getting pulled down. So I put two pop sticks underneath this end and I'm gonna keep watching it to make sure if it starts dripping off that end, then I'll remove one pop stick and yeah. Um, but super awesome. It looks pretty cool. Um, I'm loving all the different effects. So infinity pours are really cool because they do give you different effects. I find um, you are best to add some water. Even if you only add a smaller amount and not the full um, amounts that I showed you at the beginning, just add some water because that does seem to create more of the effects than just using the plain water, I mean, um, paint and flow troll mix. So this is quite interesting. It will look really good once it's dry. This silver and this gold and even the berry will all shimmer and light up. And it's even all through this black here as well. The black's kind of become a bit um, like nebula where it's got color all through it. Um, so it will be really interesting to see once it's dry. And then if you give it a really good varnish or um, I don't use resin yet, but if you give it a good varnish, it will really highlight up and shimmer. So I will bring you down for a close up now so we can get to see some of these cool effects. Okay, and there we are. So as you can see, the black has got coloring all through it. So it's not just a big black patch. And you've got all these like little bubble pearls that have kind of decided to appear all across here, down the, there. Kind of all over, apart from we've got a nice big stretch of silver and a nice big stretch of gold. Up here, there's heaps and heaps of berry. Let's go have a look at that close up. See the berry and there's some purple in there with it all come up in its own little way. Some are big, some are small. You can see this gold kind of getting like veining and this is the darker patch, which see I said it looks a bit like a nebula where it's got the different colors coming through it and specks. Sorry for my reflection, that always happens with Floetrol. And then down here, Focus, there we go. So we got some purple coming up through here, but not a lot. Um, the berry came through a lot better. And then we got a, like this little purple vein that runs through this silver all the way along. But no, I'm really, really pleased with this. Wasn't as um, infinity poor as normal. Normally you get kind of lines that run through each other. It's got some, but not as much as um, I normally do with colors. But that's it. Metallics for you. They behave differently. So I really hope everyone enjoyed this. Thank you so much for helping me get to 500 subscribers. Um, and I really appreciate everyone watching my videos. So... Um, and comments. I love the comments. I don't always have a chance to reply straight away. Um, I work full time. I also study and I do artwork each day. So sometimes I run out of time to get to everything, but um, I will reply, just not always straight away. But thanks everybody. Um, so normal, comment, like, um, share my videos and subscribe if you haven't already. So enjoy your evening and I'll see you tomorrow for another pour. Okay, bye.